Next team up, the Bengals. We have them also at AB. Uh, Hayden has a B. It seems like I'm the odd man out on all of these. <laughs> you are, uh, bro. Uh, uh, Don with uh, the I had a, a C. Though. Don has an A, and Sora has a B. So with the Bengals, they had three needs. They had cornerback, tight end, and defensive line, and they hit on all three of those. Mm -hmm. But where I think they missed the most is Amarius Mims. Uh, yeah. Terry, Terry and Arnold or Cooper DeGene could have been here. I get the pick that you want to get more protection for him. Um, so I'm not going to complain that much. I'm kind of indifferent about that pick, but um, where it starts getting a a little a little wonky is they picked up two tight ends, Tanner McLaughlin and Eric All. I Why said in my notes here they could the have squad. gone tight end and cornerback before another DT and wide receiver. Jermaine Burton, they absolutely didn't need, in my opinion. They didn't need him. It makes uh, me wonder what's going on. Well, they do like running three, having three like it doesn't, one wide outs. Think about fair. their think about their roster right now. You, you got T. T Higgins, Higgins, Jamar, Jamar Chase, Chase Charlie Jones, Andre Yoshivas, and that that other dude that I'm not thinking of right now. They didn't need a Jermaine Burton. This yeah, but T. Higgins is like, probably on the way out. I'm going to say they probably did that as security with T. Higgins. I mean, you can say the same thing with the 49ers draft and Ricky. Either way, if Debo or Brandon Ayuk goes, you've got your immediate number two right there. If not, then you got an amazing number three. Or three. And he goes and that, T. Higgins is on a, what is it, uh, like franchise, franchise tag anyway. Yeah, so you're going to need him gonna for be a next year. Drag and trade. Drag, uh, tag and trade. Which we've seen many times with receivers. I'm not mad about the Jer Jermaine Burton. I I'm not mad win. about it. I just don't think it was an immediate need. They could have got a wide. They could have went with a better tight end. I think what here that would have that would have compensated for their receiving needs too. Like or, I don't know. I don't. I don't. They could have got Kate over somebody right there. Doubling down D line when you needed a corner is another thing I'm looking at here because you, you took Chris Jenkins. Great pick. Absolute beast for Michigan. He caused havoc whenever he was on the field, getting to the quarterback, getting pressure on the quarterback, stopping the run. He was an absolute beast. But here's the thing. You drafted him, but you needed a corner, and you didn't go corner until, like, middle of day three. And you got Josh Newton out of all the corners. Yeah. You uh, could have TJ Tampa at pick 97. I'm not – like the picks they hit that I liked, they nailed. I like Mims. I know you don't. Mims, Jenkins, Mims. Burton, Eric, all I like all those picks, but like, yeah. I think Mims <sighs> is going to be a project. It's going to take a minute. It's going to take a couple of years for him to be like a lockdown, bona fide, you know, tackle. I think it's going to going to take a year or two for him. It's going to go through his lumps then. Um, Chris Jenkins, I like immediately kind of replace dj reader again i think the jermaine burton pick is great because it that just i have a feeling uh t higgins is on the way i up. think so too and then I think Andre Yoshvas, um charlie jones three yeah, four but... whatever you want to have that whichever you want to have them at but we're but we're hanging on a what if on this though what if t higgins doesn't leave and they restructure his contract yeah he's in this whole conversation hey, it's send him you mean <laughs> Not restructure. Well, well I mean, they can, way, if they, they if can they still restructure his contract or extend mm -hmm. restructures the same shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm also I'm GMs are not going to be like this is just as a safety blanket. They know the moves. They know what they're going to do. They're either be like we're going to have Jermaine be the three, and or we're going to have T Higgins be the slot and Jermaine be the other outside, or this is us preparing to be gone from T Higgins. They're Either the general they're managers. Sure they control all these moves. They they aren't thinking about it. They're like, uh, we're doing this now. Like it said, I'm I'm just saying it's a they, it's a what if, and I couldn't I couldn't evaluate this off of a what oh, if. Oh, right that's why that's keeping them from AIDS. Uh, Jermaine Burton, how they didn't take a corner till day three, middle of day three, doubled down on tight end. I, I mean, granted, I like the two tight ends they got, but for the past two drafts though, yeah. But it's. I, I wish they would have won corner. I wish they would have won corner at pick ninety seven. That's what I wish they would have done. If they did that, they would have killed the first day one and two. They would have absolutely killed it. 
Mm. Well, B overall, not bad. No, they did what they were supposed to do for the most part. I, I mean, I, I'd say if you're getting at least a B in your draft, everything's all good. <laughs> you, you, you had an excellent draft. So, I mean, don't don't take my criticism for them not drafting well as like, or what I think they should have done is like that they had a terrible draft. C for me, just middle of the road, but overall the grade is a B and I'm not mad at it. I see I see Man, I see both sides. Hmm.